Hi family, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope that you all are having a beautiful day today. I am here to give you a general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to my channel, welcome and thank you for being here. Please be sure to check out my main channel, Mermaid's Palace Tarot. Be sure to join the family, I would love to have you. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides most high, please protect me and my collective and our families as I channel messages. Please provide the most clear messages and please return any negative evil energy back to a sender. Spirit, what do we have for my collective that are watching this video? You have glamour in reverse. So what this is giving me is that someone is very jealous of how beautiful or how handsome you are. This person could definitely be doing some type of magic to affect your looks. Someone is not happy with all of the attention and admiration admiration that you get from others yeah you have the cunning card which is the fox so there's someone honestly it could be someone from your past this may be a lover a friend or someone that is in your family someone is jealous of you and I almost feel like this is someone who's watched you grow so if this is a family member it could be an aunt an uncle or a parent but if this is a lover it is someone that you may have known from your childhood or someone that has been spying on you and watching your your growth This person is very evil. They have very raw intentions when it comes to you. And it may be for multiple reasons. For most of you, it is because you've taken your power back from this individual. You may not want to be a part of their life anymore or invest any real energy into this person. And it bothers them. This is someone that either wants all of the attention for themselves or they just want to be possessive over you or have some sort of control over you. It could be a cancer with the crab here. It could be a cancer energy. This is someone that you have not spoken to in a very long time. Some of you all may have met this person at a spiritual retreat or this is something that they... This is an event that they would go to. I see communication here um, with the wolf. So I feel like this person either desires to communicate with you or they may be about to reach out to you. Some of you guys have, may have not talked to this person in four months, four weeks, or four years for most of you. You got the goblin, which speaks about malice. So there's some type of energy coming towards you very recklessly. This is someone who's been holding a grudge for a very long time. I feel like they have a lot to say to you. And they've just mustered up the courage to do so. This person has lost their spiritual protection. For a lot of you guys, they refuse to be vulnerable with you. 
And this may have been the root cause of the disconnection. But for some reason, this person is, you know, they have raw intentions towards you. Spirit, tell me more about who this individual is that is coming towards my collective with this raw intentions, with this malice energy. I feel like it's a cancer in the middle of it all. This person wants to marry you. So this person is giving me the energy of someone that's being very possessive over you. They don't want anyone else to have you. They want to tie the knot with you. But I have a very intuitive feeling, strong intuitive feeling, that this is someone that you have not had great experiences with. In fact, some of you all have decided to never communicate with this person again, and you may not want to ever see them again. This person, um, they're wanting to express some type of feelings towards you. This person broke your heart, but I feel like you've definitely taken some time to heal yourself. And this is where your growth is coming in at. I feel like in the past, um, someone found something in the other person's phone. And it just proved that they were disloyal. They were dishonest. They were conniving. I feel like this person definitely may have reacted in a very violent, aggressive way. They're afraid of rejection. Um, they're afraid of rejection. They know that they've given you a lot of time to heal. And you're no longer the same person anymore. What is this person's intentions towards my collective? Yeah, catfish. This is somebody who's extremely conniving and I hear sirens behind me. This person may have spent time in prison or they just give you a lot of red flags. You may have noticed when you met this individual that things in your life start falling kind of apart a bit, especially if you shared a home or some type of assets with this individual. You also may have noticed that this person did things to even push your family members or your friends away from you so that they could have full possession over you. This person has a thing where they like mind control. So they may de definitely do a lot of things to manipulate your energy mentally or try to. I see you're breaking the cycles. Um, some of you all may consider communicating with this individual. I do show a history of love in the past. But spirit is guiding you to retreat, you know. Um, this person will take you through the same cycles. And I feel strongly that their intentions is to make some type of negative change in your life. You've grown, you've blossomed, you've matured so much. And I feel like this person definitely has uh, intentions to try to ruin something, something that you've built. See, their plan is to try to come in and marry you so that they'll be able to get you guys intertwined when it comes to your stability, um, your assets, your home, your car, your business. All for them to turn around and use that access that you've given them against you with this cunning energy. They believe that they have the power 
They believe that they are able to persuade you. See, this person is very quick with their words and they put a lot of thought behind their plans and their strategies. But Spirit is telling you to be strong and hold back with the Strength card. Some of you all may be dealing with a Leo energy. This person is wanting to persuade you to be compassionate towards their communication to have this fresh start with them aries energy with the fool card they do see you as being an earth angel some of you guys could definitely be into spirituality or you have this angelic aura about you you're an earth angel with the temperance this person feels like you can balance out their life, but they're not telling you that. I see January 4th and I see August 14th. See, they really want to have you doubt yourself. This person wants to destroy your reputation. A lot of you guys may be in the public eye. You know, you could do something where a lot of people look up to you. You're very victorious. You've progress so much you embody this confidence that is so beautiful and you're getting so much recognition for all that you've done this person wants to make you doubt doubt yourself you know um they're very egotistical and this is the type of person i feel strongly that Wanting you to feel like you could not accomplish anything without them. So the fact that you are standing in your power and you are so victorious. This person definitely wants to get some type of... They're, they're strategizing on how to get control. Yeah, with the five of wands. This person wants to cause some type of conflict. They want you to be unsure about yourself. I see some arguments coming. Tension. Um. A lot of issues when it comes to that. Fighting. You're focusing on breaking cycles and this person wants you to have some type of setback. They're preparing with the three of wands here. You know, they're planning on trying to move forward and try to take some type of opportunity with you but this is about financial gain this person feels like you should share the success that you have with them with the six of pentacles energy but i don't trust this energy um Justice is yours. I see the justice upright here. So there's no worries, but I will tell you that you will be receiving communication from someone that you absolutely cannot trust. Okay? So those are the messages that I got for you today. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Angel number 1333. Make sure you join the family. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.